All right, guys, so I might be the last creator on this platform to be making this Fire King video, and I know it's a little bit late. However, this Fire King video is going to be more focused on Phantom Nightmare. If not, the entire thing is going to be focused on Phantom Nightmare, which comes out in February. So this has nothing to do with our current structure deck. And uh, just a disclaimer out there, this has nothing to do with uh, being a budget deck either. All right, guys, uh, we're going to be talking about full power Fire Kings, and it's going to cost a lot of big boy money. Uh, so, you know, just a fair warning there. So it's not some structure deck uh, thing that I'm going to be going over this is a highly competitive uh video so in the first portion of this video i'm gonna be going uh over all the cards right here which i think most people would uh know by now but uh, if you haven't you can guys you guys can stick around uh for this portion of the video and i'll explain how uh, every card works and how they kind of synergize with each other in the deck and then in the last portion of the video i'm going to be going over all the combos and just to keep in mind for you guys uh the combos that i actually picked out aren't actually combos that i just found on some random youtube site i actually went over a lot of the combos in this deck and i've been studying this deck uh quite a bit and the combos that i picked out and i'm going to be showing you guys today are combos are actually i think are very good in terms of they're really good into hand traps such as like drone lockbird and imperm and veiler and they also uh, get you a lot of follow-up in the process of the combo and it allows you to beat most cards such as evenly matched and lightning storm and all those type of cards uh, in the sense that they they always gather you follow-up and advantage during the combo whether that's using uh, sunlight wolf to add back cards or whether that's using heat soul to draw cards during the combo uh, that's all included in the combo segment of the video which is in front of the screen uh, for you guys to watch so let's go ahead and dive into what all these cards do right now and then uh, kind of piece them all together for the people who I uh, don't know anything about Fire Kings, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, started. So our first card here we actually have is the Fire King Arvada. Now treat this card similar to uh, Quakimiru Guardian. Uh, essentially, if you draw this card and you draw a copy of like Bonfire or any copies of your extended, which also will include like Wanted Seeker, right? Which is the Diabell Star uh, package. And now I know guys, this card, this card, the Wanted cards are like $150 and it's absolutely crazy. Uh, and I think it's kind of ironic that a card that's, uh, that's called Wanted is uh, a lot of money. <laughs> right so um this is a card that you use essentially uh if you have an extender in your hand because what it does is it's a monster effect uh, on the field by destroying a fire uh, uh monster from your hand or field to the graveyard now that's its bonus effect right that's typically not the play that you're going to be going for its main effect that you're going to be using is the effect where it destroys itself uh to reborn a monster so, and the way you're going to mainly use this is by using the fire king uh garunix now it's going to make a lot more sense in the combo later but essentially one of the combo lines that you use typically during either the beginning of the game or during your grind games is using the Garunix to destroy Arvada from your deck and then Arvada will be able to uh, essentially monster born a monster from your graveyard right however like i said um it does have an effect on field that you can use alongside with an extender so a lot of people view this card as like a brick but i don't think so because if you draw it with extenders it's really good actually and if it's in your deck then you can use obviously its uh, main effect right so that's arvada next up we have garunix which is the cover card of the entire uh, structure deck and essentially what it does is if it's some, something gets destroyed or a fire monster gets destroyed you can special summon uh, this card from your hand or graveyard which is really important for a lot of the combos and a lot of the grind game that we're gonna be going into right because obviously once you pop in your hand where does it go in the graveyard right so uh the recursion effect in the graveyard is extremely important uh when you're using this type of card now this card is very similar to like a gazelle right so if you pop something on your field and then you search garunix which typically would be fire king island's first effect which is during your main phase you can destroy one monster from your hand or field add a fire king which would be the garunix and then once you add that uh fire king monster which would be the garunix you can special summon it immediately so think of it as like uh, activate silent mining discarding uh spinny and then adding uh gazelle and then you can use that same gazelle that you just added right so same thing you pop a card add the garunix garunix will activate immediately and uh, this is going to make a lot more sense in a lot of the main combos but this card pretty much revolves around um all the combos that this deck has now i do think you can get away with playing one in this card because obviously it's searchable and if you already have grunix in your hand then you can just search another fire king card and uh it's a lot better that way however i haven't tested enough to see more uh how this deck plays out in the grind game because it would kind of suck if this card got dd crowed but i do I don't think uh, if your opponent has DD Crow, it would even matter because uh, they would go minus one and you still have a lot of interruptions even without the Gurunix. So it might not even be um, worth it to play two because, you know, you can al always add more non-engine, which uh, I'm a big fan of, right? Like I would rather uh, try to find more space for non-engine than engine of anything if we realize it's not that neat. 
All right, next up is the uh, Legendary Fire King Ponix. Now, this card is already out, and it's, it's going to be your main target to get into your combos with the Dia Bell Star uh, package. Essentially, what it does is when you normal or special summon it, you can pretty much add the Fire King card, uh, Fire King Sanctuary, and the Sanctuary gets into Fire King Island and do uh, your entire combo. So, post structure deck and post phantom nightmare you're still going to be using this card a lot to get to your main uh combos however uh, the way you get into this card is going to be more consistent right because now you have bonfire to get into populace and i'll go over that in in a little bit so this card same thing as it does currently right now however it's going to do a lot more uh, later and you're going to have a lot more easy access to it with all the new cards next next card on the list here would be the fire king high avatar kieran now the avatar kieran is very similar to uh, shavara in unchained right so it basically has the same effect where it can dodge valor or imperms on your main uh monsters that you want to resolve right such as summoning Ponix or summoning your Snake Eyes Ash, which I'll go over in a little bit, right? Um, so that's its main purpose, first of all. So if you open a, a copy of like Ponix and Kirin or like Snake Eyes and Kirin, then you're pretty much safe from Imperm and Valor. And most likely your opponent will go minus one and completely lose the game just from straight up then and there. Now it's important to note that you might guys might be thinking then, oh, maybe they can just hold their Valor or Imperms. However, it, it, it's kind of like that cat and mouse game, right? So um, if you guys don't know, uh, against Unchained, right? Now, against Unchained, if they normal summon Tour Guide, um, even though Valoring it there and losing to Shavara um is true right like if you valor there and they have shavara you will most likely 99% of the time lose the game right there and then however if you wait to valor let's say their yama link monster then by that time i think it's too late anyway because they've accumulated too much advantage and you still will lose so if you're playing that gambling game i do think it's better to just valor the tour guide and i think it's very similar in that way with the fire king deck right even if you know that you can lose to kirin if you let their combo go too far and you veil or later, then you're not getting that much value and they can play through a lot of your hand traps actually if you keep on waiting, right? Uh, so this is the that's interaction. I like to make that analogy because it helps people understand it a lot easier. Is that like this card is Shavara, but I do think you still need to play it as if they don't have it, if that makes sense. Now, obviously, it's really early on, it's still December as I'm making this video. This thing comes out in February, so we do have lots of time. And but currently, right now, with all my testing, that's what I've uh, came to the conclusion of that like if you just wait too long, you're not going to get that much value. So I might as well just veil uh, one of these cards. Uh, Ponix or Snake Eyes and hope and pray that their turn ends um, because I think that's a more efficient way of beating them if you're going to be rolling the dice essentially right um, so yeah that's it about the Kieran so now we're going to be going over the Snake Eyes and the Snake Eyes Populous and the Snake Eyes Flamberger, which is pretty much this mini Snake Eyes package, right? So the Snake Eyes uh, Ash in this deck is essentially a card that's already out. However, it's not that good because we don't have Populous yet. So think of this card uh, as the tour guide of the deck and Populous is like Fiendish Rhino Warrior for Unchained, right? So currently we do have tour guide, but what's tour guide really getting without Fiendish Rhino Warrior? And that's pretty much the Populous, which is why people don't really play uh, Snake Eyes right now, right? So essentially what it does is um when you normal or special summit you can add one level one fire monster which will be the populace which comes out uh in february and what the populace does is i think most people will know this card uh, by now because it's kind of like the hot topic um of the new set right so if this card is added to your hand you can just reveal it to special summon it and what it does it will is it will search you a snake eye spell and trap which is the uh, sinful spoils one as we all know that rescue plays right and essentially that gets you into obviously the ponics and more combos like that like i said this deck moving forward is going to be a lot more consistent because we're getting into our snake eyes a lot easier uh with populace now right now this card is snake eyes flamberg dragon now this card is an optional card to play however i think it's really good into hand traps actually so i think it's something that's worth it to play this card is very similar now obviously its effect is nothing like um the unchained blue dog right so this card um so we all know how powerful this soul of disaster is in unchained however it is a brick in unchained and i think the brick quality is very similar as uh, as this card right now obviously in this deck it's a little bit better because you can destroy cards from your hands with fire king island and still get uh, value there right so essentially let me go ahead and explain to you what this card does and how it works in conjunction with like snake eyes ash now what this card does is um if it's sent to graveyard right uh you can special summon two level one fire monsters 
from your graveyard so essentially how it works it's more of like a link climbing fodder card right so you send it to graveyard and it constantly link climbs now it has another effect actually it's, and it reads you can target one face up monster on the field or in the graveyard place it to its face up owner spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell and then during your opponent's uh, turn quick effect you can target one monster that's treated as a continuous spell on the field special summon it to your field now that's really important because there's there's going to be some combos that will that involves you using ip mascarena uh in the graveyard by linking it as a link material and then this card can put the ip back to the uh, continuous spell and trap card zone and then during your opponent's main phase you can special summon that ip that you use to link climb so it's actually pretty pretty cool and the way you summon this card because obviously it's a level eight monster so how are we going to summon this uh giant monster right so snake eyes ash has another hidden uh secret effect right which is pretty cool actually um so you can send two face up monsters you control to the graveyard including this card special summon one snake eyes monster from your hand or deck which is going to be the flamberg dragon so if you draw snake eyes ash and flamberg you can at least still special summon it from the hand which is why i think it's worth it to uh play because it does get value even from the hand you can use it there as well right so the way this works is if let's say your snake eyes ash or let's say you, you go normal summon snake eyes ash and you search for a populace and you get hit with a card like troll and lockbird which a lot of people are gonna think it's really good against this deck because it searches a lot let's say even with bonfire but it's not good at all um but you know if you guys are watching this right now let's, let's just keep that between us all right and let people use draw and lockbird against us right so i do think uh draw and lockbird is not good at all against deck but if you do get draw and lockbird there's a lot of lines uh involving snake eyes ash because you'll be able to search populace and populace has another hidden effect where if it's sent to graveyard you can place it back into the continuous spell and trap zone and then you contribute your snake eyes ash and your populace to be able to summon your flamberg and then you can see where that, that the ball gets rolling right because then you can link class into let's say ip and then special summon two monsters back and then you can link climb into your sunlight wolf into your new even promethean princess and then so on and so forth so many different combos and i'm definitely going to be showing you guys that in the combo section uh, later on so look out for for that in the next section of the video and it'll all kind of make sense if it is too confusing uh right now right so yeah it's a huge link climb card and it does help play around hand traps does have some value in the hand so i think it is a very uh solid card and worth the slot to play uh, next up card was going to be the fire king skyburn now this card is already out however i do think this card is a one of a sort of a brick if you draw it but i do think it's fine to play because it does really well into your follow-up and it does really well into decks such as labyrinth right um so sometimes uh, a big uh thing with this deck is there can be certain times where your opponent you know actually is playing like let's say labyrinth and they just set five on you and it's kind of annoying right and especially if they start flipping floodgates it gets even more annoying so with this uh with the skyburn card does is it essentially it just targets equal number of fire king monsters you control and destroy them now a lot of the combos here is going to involve you uh, summoning ponix on your opponent's turn right and typically since this whole entire deck is grabbing follow-up during the process uh ponix adding another sanctuary or another fire king island is pretty repetitive and doesn't really matter so i threw in another target and it will clean up all the back row decks uh, very nicely um as well so it has a dual purpose and getting more value out of ponix i think is pretty solid right so that's why i play it next up fire king sanctuary i think everyone knows what this card does by now ponix will be able to grab sanctuary and sanctuary gets to fire king island and gets your whole entire ball rolling next up card is the brand new card um uh, bonfire obviously we're going to be using this to search our snake eyes populace or our snake eyes ash now the way i like to play this deck is if i draw a normal summon card let's say i draw ponix with bonfire then typically i'll use bonfire to search populace because if populace gets hand trapped then i can still normal summon ponix right but let's say i draw uh kirin with bonfire then i typically will go bonfire for snake eyes because then you know if you normal summon snake eyes and you hit a hit with the veiler then you can chain kirin and then completely blow them out right so like i think this card is very uh, hand dependent whatever you have you can search so i mean it's so broken because it gives you a lot of uh, versatility on what options that you're able to go for right uh so definitely going to be really expensive and it's going to be breaking everyone's wallets but uh, definitely one of the more uh, strong cards from this set absolutely broken this deck all right and then the next card we're going to go over is the fire king uh Hiang. and essentially what this does is it's a torrential tribute on your opponent's turn and it also has another effect when it gets destroyed you can special summon back two fire king monsters which doesn't really matter too much right now but with the new promethean princess this card becomes absolutely even more insane than it is already right uh so what the promethean princess does let's go over um on the next card immediately right now this card is ban worthy by the way guys it is 
absolutely insane this card is so crazy like this is why like i'm gonna be playing a fire deck for sure like either it's this deck or rescue ace but you just have to be playing a fire deck i feel like this deck is i mean this card i mean this deck too but this card is absolutely insane right so let's go ahead and give it a read and then we can go ahead and go over a lot of the interactions that this card can use in actual play right so two two plus effect monsters by the way this card is generic two plus effect monsters not even fire monsters guys this card is absolutely broken right and there's another card called sunlight wolf right now if we were to if we, i were to ask you guys which card is more broken promethean princess or sunlight wolf i think 99 percent of you will say promethean princess but tell me why this card requires two fire effect monsters and this card is generic make it make sense all right so this card's already broken off the bat so let's go ahead and give it a read uh you can you cannot uh special summon monsters except fire monsters so it has a little small restriction which we don't really care about because we're going to be linking uh with this card most of the time into either sunlight wolf or ample whale which i will be showing you guys a lot of more interactions in the combo section uh so look out for that um again so um you can only use each effect of the following uh promethean princess bestower of flames once per turn during your main phase you can spur summon one fire monster from your graveyard so no restriction does not stop you you know not level four or lower not pyro not wing beast not beast fire much just any fire by the way so you can see a lot of interactions already uh with this card and also this card pairs really well with the snake guys flamberg dragon you guys can already see how that works bringing back a flamberg dragon and be able to use it again to summon out more uh level one monsters and then keep link climbing is crazy uh so already it's already a link climb in itself right so this card is a one card uh link for ample whale essentially because you know you summon anything back and then essentially just make ample well right um so super free and then if a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field while this card is in your graveyard you can target one fire monster your opponent controls uh your opponent control one fire monster you control and one monster your opponent controls destroy them and if you do special summon this card crazy by the way so first of all let's let's think about something that this card does not do that i think every broken card has a restriction of this card does not get banished when it leaves the field that's crazy to me every broken card that you guys read that comes back from the grave right always has this restriction of oh yeah when it leaves the field oh at least it gets banished not this guy this guy when it comes back it's staying right and that's crazy to me right that's absolutely absolutely uh crazy to me that doesn't have that uh, restriction or that limitation on it right and then number two had like i said earlier it pairs really well with the fire king hiang right so the hiang has an effect where if it gets destroyed it can special summon fire kings back now what does this uh promethean princess do it's basically like a scrap dragon it pops your opponent's card then it pops your cards which will be the hiang in a lot of situations of how i i'm setting up my boards um which is why i i like to to pair these two together and then and then uh, you essentially get follow up in this card because if this card lives, think about it, it monster reborns again, and then it doesn't get banished when it leaves. So you, so you get follow up, you pop a card on their field, you destroy Hiang, which gets you more advantage. And then on your next turn, you get to link climb. And then for some reason, if your opponent is, isn't still dead, which 99.9% .9 they should be dead unless they're God, um, it, it's just in the graveyard again and you use it again so it's absolutely uh, insane every single combo that i'm using is involving this card this card is so good for your combo this card is so good for your grind game this card is so good for your follow-up it's uh everything right it's absolutely broken and the next pieces we're gonna be using is ample whale and pit night early which i'll be showing you in one of my combos um in the next uh, combo section below and we're gonna see how the synergy works really well right so just to briefly go over this card and i'll show you why it's uh, already kind of broken right so during the end phase of this card was destroyed to the graveyard because it was stored there by a card effect and sent to this turn you can special summon this card which by the way guys fire king island destroys the card so we can destroy pit knight and essentially bring it back so look out for the combos on that as well and then uh with the ample whale this card is absolutely insane now biggest synergy with this card ever is this card plus kieran right so as you guys can already see if this card is destroyed you can target one link three or lower monster in the graveyard special summon it so there's so many lines where i'll summon ample whale use kieran which is the shavara of the deck to destroy my ample whale ample whale will trigger and summon sp 
just think about what i just said how broken is that right like and then also has another effect where if a link three monster or lower is destroyed by battle or card effect uh you can banish this card off from your graveyard and destroy one card on the field right so super uh cool interaction with this card is if this card is in your graveyard and you bring back a link two, for example right and you're able to summon a uh hiang of the fire kings what the hiang is going to do is actually going to blow up your entire board which is most likely going to consist of a link two monster being there and what's that gonna do it's gonna trigger ample well second effect banishing itself popping another card so all these cards are getting maximum value for their worth and they're so good so good and um that's pretty much it for the entire overview of the deck profile hope you, i got i made it clear for you guys to uh, understand um how this deck works now i understand it could be a lot confusing so if you guys are still confused be sure to watch all the combos and see how all these cards glue uh together all right so i'll see y'all um over there I am using the Snake Eyes um, Ash Monster, right? So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit so that I search my card. Now, this one uses a Bonfire completely, right? So this card is when you draw a Bonfire by itself. So this card is a one card combo. You're going to see how much shit we produce off this one card. It's crazy, right? So let's go ahead and uh, get started, okay? So we're going to go ahead and use our Bonfire to search our populace. Um, so if you guys watched the first portion already, I'm not going to explain much of the cards because the first portion is me explaining all the cards. This video will be for the people that already know what the cards do but are trying to look for the combo, right? So Bonfire is going to be adding populace here. Populous special itself because it was added. Populous is going to activate to obviously get the snake eyes. We're gonna go ahead and use Link Rebo here, linking it off, and then the populace will be able to come back because it was sent to the graveyard. Snake Eyes is going to activate to send the card that we just put back and is going to summon our Snake Eyes Ash. Now, the Snake Eyes Ash usually will search Populous, but in this case, we can search Ponix because we have not used our normal summon yet because of Bonfire being broken, right? So, we're going to go ahead and normal summon our Fire King Ponix. This is a very cookie cutter combo. Ponix into Sanctuary into Fire King Island is just something that this deck is always going to be doing, essentially. Um, so, even the deck literally does that now, currently, without the new stuff, but with the new stuff, it's going to be pretty much doing that as well. So we're going to be linking off the two monsters and going to our Pit Knight early, which is going to be a very, it's a card that it's already out right now, but you're going to see the power of this card uh, towards the end of the combo. So we always want to make our Pit Knight early here, and it'll kind of make sense towards the end, right? So Pit Knight early is going to come out, and we're going to be using our Fire King Island. Now, Fire King Island will destroy Pit Knight early to search a Garunix, which will trigger our Garunix. Our Garunix will be able to send Kirin. Kirin will activate to special summon our legendary uh, King Ponix, just as another material to keep going into our Link Line points, right? So we're going to go ahead and go to our Sunlight Wolf using the um, the, the Ponix and the Fire King Garunix. Then we'll be using our level 1 Snake Eyes to be using our to bring back our Link Kribo that we used in the beginning. And that will let you that will let us search our follow-up piece. Now, the thing that I like about this combo the most is that during this combo, we're getting follow-up and we're getting advantage through Sunlight Wolf and through like um, uh, Pit Knight early being in Grave. So in case something does happen, such as Nibiru or any of these cards, this, I think this type of combo is very good into um, a lot of the hand traps, which we kind of are in a hand trap format. So I think that's why it makes a lot of sense that we are playing the combo that I'm showing you right now. And like I said, this isn't some like YouTube combo. I actually thought of, I actually watched a lot of the combos just to find out that I think this one is really good, right? So we're gonna go ahead and continue here. With our Kirin in hand, we're gonna take our two monsters to link them off into our Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames, which is absolutely broken again. And we're gonna bring back something. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna be using it as a link material anyway. And we're gonna be summoning a card called Ample Well. And this card is very important into the next format. It's going to be summoned a lot actually because it synergizes with the whole entire deck. And I'll even show you uh, examples pretty much right now, right? And we're gonna go ahead and use our Ample Well and pass. That is just our board. Now, at glance, our board looks very underwhelming, but I'm going to show you guys how this board literally ends up being six or seven interruptions, right? It's all hidden, which is why I tell people that if you are playing against this deck, you need to know this deck um, very well to be able to play against this deck, because if you don't know what the cards do, you're going to look at the board and be like, where's all the interruption? It's just a pit night early. Like, is that it? Like, wow, the board, so your deck is so underwhelming, but there's like six interruptions that you haven't seen yet that are invisible right um and you they're literally out of sight until it happens so obviously people who know how to play against them will know that uh, so it's something to just study anyways even if you're planning to not play this deck right so this is our end board with the ample whale now you're probably wondering why did the pit knight early come here but that's the whole reason why we made it to begin with right now this card reads during the end phase if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by battle or card effect and sent this turn you can special summon this card so absolutely free because we destroyed it earlier to summon our garunix and now the pit knight early uh is here to next to our ample whale and this is our board during the end phase and by now we shouldn't have gotten the beard because we moved to end phase 
go ahead and fast forward go ahead and let's say for example our opponent let's say our opponent is trying to crack our board so the, the tokens are kind of just our example here they started off with like a normal or special summon right let's say we want to start interrupting them immediately because we want to start clearing the board our first line of interruption here is going to be actually using the fire king avatar kieran right like i said earlier in the um in the uh, deck explanation this card is basically like a shavara in the hand so we're going to use it and go ahead and use kieran to destroy our ample well now let's see what's going to happen here, right? A bunch of chains are going to happen. Ample Well is going to activate targeting the Sunlight Wolf. Ample Well reads when it is destroyed, you can target one link or three or one lower monster and special summon it. In our case, we're going to be using our Sunlight Wolf to get more pluses, right? So this will be targeting the Sunlight Wolf because it was destroyed by the Kirin. Now because something was destroyed, which is what you did with Kirin, Garunix is going to activate in the graveyard, right? Garunix is either in the hand or in the grave. So since you destroyed something, Garunix will be able to stack on top of the chain. So this is two forms of effects that are being activated. Now we're going to see the Garunix summon. We're going to see the Sunlight Wolf summon back, right? Now here we're going to see the Garunix activate. And because the Garunix activate the Pit Knight early, we will be able to activate. It reads when a monster in this card points to so activate its effect. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn changes. Attack to zero also negated its effects. Keep in mind, if they start off with like, let's say a normal summon tour guide or like a monster effect that activates on summon, you cannot use Pit Knight early to negate that monster. However, we don't really care about that because we're going to be interrupting them a lot anyways. But one cool thing that uh, you guys need to keep in mind is that Pit Knight early turns the monster attack to zero. So while it doesn't negate the monster, their attack points will be zero. So a lot of times people will think that, oh, because he didn't negate my monster, my monster should be at the original attack. And sometimes they'll enter battle phase not knowing it's zero attack and they'll just crash themselves, right? So basically you're what you're doing is turning their monster to zero attack. You're not really negating the effect. And pretty much your opponent's going to think that, oh, Pit Knight just didn't activate because it couldn't and then it'll keep going, right? So maybe you can catch your opponent uh, off guard there, right? So we're going to go ahead and use Pit Knight and use our Grunix um here and then our grunix will be able to send our kirin right and we're gonna be using kirin's effect here kirin obviously reads um when it's destroyed you can special summon something back and then destroy another card on it, right so when this comes back we're gonna be going to search our legendary phoenix ponix off of kirin and then this ponix will be able to search us our follow-up if we want follow-up or our fire king burst thing uh which i think is absolutely broken like i said if they're playing any other deck no uh, all the cards that they have remaining at the end of their turn, you can just activate this card and blow up everything. Uh, so they can just never live through this board, right? They have to kill you this turn, which is nearly impossible. Uh, so we're going to search for this card to make sure that we don't lose any floodgates. So this card's nice. And then what we can do is let's say they summon again and they keep going. At this point, we've already popped um, a card, negated a card. Now we can even pop another card. Let's say they play their second extender, right? Um, after their normal summon. Now we can go ahead and quick XYZ into our... Uh, uh xyz fire king monster right now essentially what it will do is now we will be able to use this card and use sunlight wolf to add our follow-up because what this is going to do is going to blow up our entire field but that's okay because we're searching follow-up in the process right so now we search our kieran back to our hand it could be anything else blows up the entire field now ample whale will get another interruption because ample whale will ha has its another effect be uh reads if a link through our lower monster on the field is destroyed which was our sunlight wolf on our field uh you can banish this card from your graveyard destroy another card so we popped three different cards at this point and nuked wipe um their entire board right and that's like four to five stops that we've already done right and and that's pretty good right but no we have another layer guys so let's say they have their third or fourth extender and they keep going again well, now we have the Promethean Princess, right? And this card reads, like I said earlier in the uh, profile, when someone special summons something, or your opponent special summons a card, which, by the way, if your opponent is playing any good deck, they're going to be special summoning. Every deck, like, they're not going to break this board without special summoning monsters. So essentially, this card is always live, right? You're going to go ahead and special summon this card back, right? And what this card does is, in order to special summon this card, you have to destroy a card on field, which is absolutely bonus for you because you're able to destroy this xyz fire king card that you just made and it has another effect that when this card is destroyed you can reborn fire king cards up to its material so what i'm going to do here now is reborn a bunch of cards including it can include itself when it reborns right so i'm gonna reborn that and i'm gonna reborn garunix i can't use garunix because i use it this turn already but it's free bodies that i brought back right now we're gonna go ahead and reach during the end phase that is all our interruptions guys we did about three to four pops with ample whale fire king um kieran a bunch of these cards got a bunch of follow-up in the process look at our hand our hand is stacked we should have four other cards with our hand because we started with one card and if if our opponent somehow breaks our boards and kills us uh without any hand traps then you've just dueled against god and 
yeah you kind of deserve it right but assuming our opponent is not, assuming our opponent is not god we should be able to make it to the next turn right so go ahead and draw during the standby phase we'll be able to get our third card in hand ponix is going to activate and add it to our hand because it was destroyed this turn and by the fire king xyz and during the standby phase we add it back so our hand size right now is eight cards in hand we started with one card we have four other cards so it's eight cards in hand follow-up pieces interruption out and another fire king uh ponix right and then like i said earlier in the deck profile um or uh, deck overview this card uh is not on summon so even on your turn you can activate the monster reborn effect once again bring back sunlight wolf and as you guys can see already this is already lethal on game if you guys need really need to these cards don't um if, if yeah if you guys really need to you guys can also just link climb into a bunch of cards make access code if you guys want to unicorn to make your lives easier um but at this point you've popped so many cards that they're they're, they're probably already scooped right so this is the first combo absolutely insane right so make sure you guys pick up your ample wells and uh, make sure that you guys are using promethean princess because i think this combo is very good into uh, a lot of hand traps like i mentioned at first right so let's go ahead and go into our last combo here that i want to show you guys which is gonna be with our snake eyes monster so go ahead and start the deck and this is with snake eyes ash which is going to be the tour guide of the deck right when we're summon snake eyes ash go ahead and search populous populous will be able to activate populous to now we're able to search snake eyes um spell card we're gonna make link creeble like we did previously before in our last combo tutorial go ahead and send those off and now we're gonna be using the snake eyes flamburger flamburger dragon and i want to showcase the power of this card because it is a card that i am playing that some decks don't play right so go ahead and use our uh, snake eyes card and we're gonna be able to special summon our ponics ponics doing the same cookie uh cutter fire king combo uh sanctuary into island uh, searching garunix go ahead and use garunix on ponix garunix will activate send kirin kirin being able to bring back and now we're going to go ahead to our link climb combos and you guys need to pay attention a little bit here because it does get a little bit confusing uh, but it will make sense when we find out that this card also has another hidden effect right so go ahead and link into our ip mascarena here right and we're going to be using our ip mascarena to link off immediately and this will be relevant later towards the end uh, of the combo right if you guys are wondering why did i make ip for no reason there is a reason okay so we're gonna wait and use our snake eyes monster and our ip to make our uh fire king princess again by the way uh this card does not take up fire monsters even though it looks like it would it's fire type fire looking has flames in its name and it's two generic effect monsters like so stupid anyways so go ahead and normal summon our special summon our princess now that our uh snake eyes has went to graveyard which is any form you can special summon back out two um of the snake eyes cards right so it helps you link climb and go into your bigger and better place you go ahead and use that and we haven't used um the princess yet so we're going to revive back that same fire dragon uh, that we just used and then we're gonna go ahead and be doing some link line right right we're actually gonna go ahead and link down funny enough and use our princess and use our populace to make our sunlight wolf and then use our link rebo uh once again to add back our follow-up piece like i said i'm always still showing you guys combos that search a follow-up in the process because i think um any board is good enough if they have no hand traps and if you're able if your deck is able to search up follow-up then it does it plays very well into the board go ahead and link into our heat soul at this point uh, with our a silent wolf and our link rebo and now we'll be able to um go ahead and get some draws so we're getting advantages in the process so in case we get nibbed here we're drawing a few cards in the process <laughs> and now we're going to be able to use our snake as dragon se uh, second effect right and this card is it reads you can target one face up monster in the field or in the graveyard place it to its own spawn trap card so i'm placing the ip from my graveyard that i made earlier into the spawn trap card zone right so now we're gonna be able and draw we're gonna be able to draw another card to fill up our hand sets with heat soul and let's say our opponent starts our turn with trying to crack our board right let's say the normal summons for summon any monster we can go ahead and use this card's um effect here um which is uh you can target one phase and place it into the spell and trap as a continuous spell card then during the opponent's turn you can target one monster that was treated as continuous spell which is going to be our ip and it special summons it so we literally are equipping ip to our card and then special summoning the ip back on their opponent's turn and then we're able to use ip into sp now sp we're able to get rid of a threat and once again we're going to be milking our snake eyes flamberg dragon again because like i said uh this card can special summon two uh level ones back so you know since it's on the opponent's turn we're going to be abusing the effect again our sp will banish a card we're going to bring back two fire monsters getting our ponics again searching up our follow-up and searching our viking like i did in the other combo i'm always searching follow-up go ahead and bring back ponics let's say they continue to do something again we have our promethean princess like we did in the last video let's say um 
uh, and the way we used our Promethean Princess was by destroying our Ponyx. So our Ponyx is destroyed, which will be able to trigger our Garunix. And since our Ponyx is destroyed, we'll be able to back able to add back Ponyx during our standby phase. So already we're getting a bunch of pluses and a bunch of follow up like we did previously. Send the Kirin with Garunix. Runix can be able to special summon something out. On our turn, again, we can use Snake Eyes' effect to draw another card uh, by putting back that Flamberg Dragon. And if you have the Snake Eyes Ash, you can resummon it by putting it back with the Snake Eyes Original Sinful Spoil. So I think that's really cool, right? So, super uh, long video there about the Fire King deck. I think this deck will be absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys think about the video and about the combos. Comment down below what combos you guys are uh, doing right now and if you guys enjoyed uh, the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next